Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Webflow with MailChimp. First things first, we want to create ourselves an account at webflow.com or log into to our existing account. In this video I'm going to show you how we can make this integration work by using third-party app. So for that job I picked automate.io I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And once we are here, let's go to integrations. Once we are at integrations, uh, at the top corner of our screen, this pop-up window will show up and we want to go to the bottom left part and see all categories. We are at app integrations now, so it's time for us to write down the name of the first app that we want to integrate. At our case, it's Webflow, like this. And once we do that, it's time for its counterpart. So as you can see, probably MailChimp is ready, right there. And straight away, we are greeted by some uh, MailChimp and Webflow integrations, or at least the popular one that uh, Automate.io already pre-made it for us. If you're not happy with what you found and uh, you want to make your own integration, you can by scrolling down so you can really create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, you want to start with Webflow first. There's only one option, so go for it. On the opposite side though, underneath the actions, there's uh, MailChimp options uh, only. So be careful and pick the one that you need. I'm going with the first one just for the sake of showing you. Last thing, we have to click on Try Now button. Uh, we get redirected to our sign up page. And that's the last thing we have to do. Login or register your account at uh, automate.io. And you are, you are basically ready for this integration. We can also use zapier.com. Uh, it's a very similar app to uh, it's very similar similar app to automate.io. And once we create the account here, let's go to the top left corner and click on create this app. We also have to start by setting a trigger first. So the trigger will be Webflow or the trigger app. Trigger event. We have three options now, so pick one. Now we have to choose an account. Let's go with the Webflow account. Continue. <clears throat> Site name is the name of this, uh, of your project. So it's Mstone and form name. I haven't set up yet, but if you are working through your website, it will be available. After that, you just hit continue and you can test your trigger between Webflow and Zapier. On the second action, we want to go and we want to go with the MailChimp. We also have to pick an event. So I'm sticking with the first one. And the last thing is logging in to your account at MailChimp. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.